favor of an informal reception, raise your hands. One, two. All those in favor of a formal reception, raise your hands. <laughs> Tie again. Oh, please. I told you that wannabe divas and democracy do not mix. <laughs> My vote counts for more because I know more about Lena Horn than you do. And too many could spoil the bra. Uh, speaking of bra, Charmaine, I hate to be a fuss budget, but there's something dreadfully wrong with this PC. Oh, no. Did Mr. Gaines use sugar instead of salt again? <laughs> too many old cooks spoil the bra. Oh, don't talk about Mr. Gaines like that with me. Hello, hello, lady. Hey, Jen. How goes it with the Lena Horn Welcoming Committee? Maybe you could break our tie. What tie? There is no tie. Well, I like to think of myself as combining the wisdom of Solomon and the beauty of Sheba. <laughs> Let me put this in the fairest way possible. I say we throw a reception befitting the elegance of the great lady that Lena Horne is. Of course. They want to throw a hoe down. Jim and Freddy, I'm surprised at you. We must treat royalty like royalty. I say. The only way I survived my childhood in Chitlin Switch, Alabama, was by watching Lena's movies. She gave me the courage to become the strong black woman that I am today. Yeah. Can't go on. Remember? Everything I had is gone. Stormy weather <laughs> can't keep our poor self together. It's raining all the time. What's all this howling going on in here? Something like two cats on a hot tin roof. <laughs> Lena Horn is coming to helmet. But well, not if she hears you. <laughs> Lena Horn made the good old days the good old days. <laughs> All day he goes with that good old day stuff. Look, he can't help it if the groove on his record is stuck. I remember meeting Lena when she sang for the troops in Korea. Wrong, Mr. Gaines. She never sang for the troops in Korea. Well, it was World War II. I served in both of them. Now, when they wouldn't let her sing in Washington, D.C., Mrs. Roosevelt, the president's wife, invited her to sing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Wrong again, Mr. Gaines. That was Marion Anderson. Well, it was one of them. <laughs> but I would be honored to provide the vittles for this reception. Oh, no, there'll be no hog moths and cornbread in this reception. The only greens we will see will be in the watercress sandwiches. But, Miss Horn... Hog moths and cornbread in this reception. The only greens we will see will be in the watercress sandwiches. But, Miss Horn loves southern cooking, young lady. I'm sure you're a tad confused on that tip, too, Mr. Gaines. As usual. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. You know something? You don't know how to... You don't know when to quit, man. How can you treat him like that? Mr. Gaines, listen, I'm... Kimberly Reed, I might have been born in 1928, but I still know a thing or two. We know, we know a lot of stuff, Mr. Gaines. Kimberly, don't even start it. You know, old folks don't mind being corrected by these young people. But it's just the way some of them do it. Listen, um, we love you very much, Mr. Gaines, but sometimes... Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. I put a little sugar in the pea soup. Oh, yeah. Yes, well, why do you think it was half price? <laughs>